All right, now to the latest on a story we first brought you last night at 11. A teenager fired upon after knocking on a front door in Rochester Hills. 14-year-old Brennan Walker says he was just asking for directions to school after he missed the bus. Well, in court today, the homeowner accused of shooting at him says it's not that simple. Sean Lay has been working multiple angles of the story for us. He joins us live from Rochester's, for Rochester Hills with more. Sean, good evening. Good evening to you, Kimberly. Let's get right to those very serious charges Jeffrey Ziegler is facing. First and foremost, assault with intent to murder. That could carry a life sentence plus a felony gun crime charge. And tonight, we're learning this is not the first time he's been charged with a gun crime. I was in bed yesterday morning when my wife started screaming and crying. Jeffrey Ziegler trying to tell a judge what happened yesterday at his home in Rochester Hills. 8.20 in the morning, this 14-year-old named Brennan Walker was at Ziegler's front door. The teen wanted to ask for directions. He was lost, trying to walk to Rochester High School two miles away after he missed his bus. But before he could ask, Ziegler's wife started screaming. I thought I was trying to break in. She asked me, why are you trying to break into my house? Sheriff's investigators say Ziegler then came running out of his home with his shotgun and chased after the teen. Mr. Ziegler then pointed the shotgun in the direction of the juvenile and discharged one round from the shotgun in the direction of the juvenile subject. Jeffrey Ziegler is 53 and is a retired Detroit firefighter having 25 years of service, but left in 2013 after being injured in a fire, something he tried to tell the judge about. Rescued three kids in the house collapsed on us. But Local 4 has learned Ziegler has pointed a gun at someone before. Charged in 2006 with three counts of assault with a deadly weapon and a firearms charge called aiming without malice. Then he got probation. Today, prosecutors asking for the highest bond possible. I'm asking that he not be allowed to return to Rochester Hills. I don't want this victim uh, being put in the position of having to run into the man who tried to kill him. The judge agreed, ordering Ziegler not to return home. No questions. I would really like to be able to stay in my home to keep my family together, but I'm asking, I'm begging, please. In Ziegler's neighborhood, the reaction is passionate about Ziegler and his wife, assuming the teen was there to commit a crime. In that situation, unless there was a clear and present uh, danger and threat, um, then there should be no reason for anyone to be pulling a firearm whatsoever. At, at the the judge giving Ziegler a $50,000 cash bond. The conditions, if he makes the bond, is to have no contact with the victim, to undergo alcohol and drug testing, plus surrendering his weapons to the Oakland County Sheriff. Just to name a few, if he gets out, he'll have a GPS tether. He can't leave the state, has to surrender his passport. And Kimberly also has to undergo mental health counseling while his case now moves to the court system. Back to you. Sean, something we mentioned when we first reported this last night at 11, I understand this entire incident was caught on video camera. Had you heard anything about that? That is correct. It's the it's Jeffrey Ziegler's own security camera system uh, that the prosecutor pointed out today supports the teen's story in this and says does not support what Ziegler was allegedly telling investigators in this case. Ziegler's final words to the judge was there's more to come. He has a, there's more to this story. He seems very anxious to tell his side of this. Okay. All right, Sean. Well, the mayor of Rochester Hills has released a statement saying in part, while the city cannot officially comment on matters under investigation, I I am personally sickened by the initial reports and they suggest behavior completely unacceptable and inconsistent with the character and values of our community. Our city has a strong and unwavering policy when it comes to acts of hatred.